guys, I might look a little different today. That is because I am doing another installation of my Makeup Artist Instagram series. Um, this particular person, her name is Julie Wick. She is um, Jules Wick on Instagram, and I, I don't think she has a YouTube channel. I could be totally wrong. But I believe she works at Mac, or she used to work at Mac, and she has a very unique style but it's not all the same. I had a really hard time. I was going through a ton of pictures trying to find a look that I really wanted to like recreate, but like she just has so many cool looks I could not pick. So I took like bits and pieces from every single one, and honestly, I just wish I did more and I I wanted to do another look. Um she has so many. Please like take a look at her page. It's insane. It's awesome. She incorporates a lot of textures, a lot of different components of the face and the skin, um, but mostly focuses on the lower lash line, which is what I love. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will show you how to do this Julie Wick recreation, and I'll also show you how I fumble through it all because I was so nervous. <laughs> I'm going to uh, prime my eyes with some Stay Don't Stray. My skin is so dry right now, though. Like, I put lotion on, and it still feels really dry. I'm going to use my dirty Real Techniques one. What I used to see a lot on her page was the uninterrupted color. So I'm going to use some of that on pretty much all over my lid, but also on my orbital bone. And a lot of it has to do with the lower lash line action. There's a ton of action down there. This girl is insane. She has like such cool features. It's, I don't even think it's her features. I think it's just more like how she does, um, how she accentuates her eyebrows and so she, um, um, I, she works at Mac. So she uses a lot, like, I don't know, something about girls at Mac, but they love their face and body. And I'm the same way when I work there. Um, so I'm going to use, I'm going to mix together the face and body in C4 and C6. I have to get C5. Oh my god, I made too much. What's wrong with me? Oh, I haven't used face and body in forever. This is nice. I just think the face and body is going to be a little bit less perfect on my face. I don't know if that sounds bad or not. So this girl, like, her um, style is very, like, how do you say it? It's just like very, it looks just so effortless and everything is like very calculated how it's placed but it looks like she just goes like, oh, I'll just put it there, oh, I'll just put it there. Like it looks so good. She doesn't, I don't believe she has any videos but um, from the pictures that she has, it just looks so cool. I know she worked at MAC at one point because that was when I first started following her it was a while ago and I know that there was like a day where I think she was either working at MAC or leaving MAC or something and all the girls at her store or her, her counter or something um, did like a Julie day or something and they just did looks inspired by her which was so cool so um, I just kind of looked at those pictures too and, and you can you can tell like she has her own style some concealer this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35 I haven't used this concealer in a while. It just smells so yummy. So right now my face looks really shiny, but I will set it with a powder soon. This is why I used to love and hate face and body. I think in the winter time for me it just worked better because my skin was more dry. And in summertime I like a more matte finish. And some girls are like completely opposite. They like a dewier finish in the summer and a matter one in the winter, which I don't understand. It just seems dry, too dry in the winter, but every girl has their own style. All right, I'm using my Maybelline powder in 230. If you ever feel like it's too oily, just set individual areas and like pat it down so I can get a little bit more coverage and it's going to last longer. So I always end up patting a little bit more on my forehead than, than my nose. And the places I usually get oily. Okay, I'm going to add some primer underneath my lash line. Again, like I explained in my last video, these are always looks that I'm like, oh, that looks awesome. I want to try that. And I never actually try it. So this is kind of like... 
so terrifying for me to try on camera. She does a lot of action on the lower lash line, like crazy and very pretty placement of color. This is one artist who I'd love to see how she does it, like her technique, because I bet it's crazy cool. I bet it's really effortless, actually. She just seems to be the kind of person who just like throws it on and it's no big thing. All right, I'm going on and we're using my cyan pigment. It's a pigment from MAC. It's um, a pro color, but you can buy it online. You don't have to be a pro member or you could buy it in a pro store. You just can't really find these colors in like freestanding MAC stores. So anyways, I'm gonna take that color and I'm gonna pack it on a teeny brush. And pack it on that white. And I'm worried about doing this first before I blend out anything. Does that look crazy yet? I'm gonna take a small detail brush and dip it into that again, but I'm gonna tap off any excess. Oof, that's a lot of excess. It's hard with the pigment because a lot of it's just kind of powder, anyways. So uh, I'm just going to kind of feather it on the outer edge of that. The, the concealer for me wasn't to conceal my under eyes. It was really just to add like a primer, so to speak, for like the, the buffing out that I was going to do later on. Thing that sucks about this girl she doesn't post a ton she's like living life so I don't know I really don't know her life but um, she just doesn't post as much as I would like but when she does it's always something really cool I'm gonna use some of that Mac um, full force violet and then tap that on my brush and then bringing that closer to the lash line just on top of the blue just to add something like more of a more depth of the color. Hopefully you can tell a difference. This is not a look for everybody. This is more about being creative and having fun. But I have I've never tried this look, so I I wonder if I could I would pull this off. Because if I will, if I do like it, I think I would wear it out. And her lashes, she has amazing lashes, but her lashes go straight up. They're very, um, like, spiky. Like, they're not very feathery the way she applies mascara and her kind of preference of mascara. So I'm going to stick to that, too. This is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I really like this one a lot. See how they stick, like, straight up? I do the same thing with my bottom lashes. Her bottom lash line, oh my god, her bottom lash line lashes are so long. Very envious. I might do another layer of this on top because I have some more to add on this. As a lower base, I'm just going to put the um, Rimmel Eyeliner on just as a base. I'm going to dip a flat brush into this um, purple color and then set it. If you don't have all like the ColourPop eyeliners in the world or just colored liners, this is like one way that I like to do it. You just have to be kind of comfortable with having stuff on your waterline. Okay, I'm just going to add some more mascara on the tops. She has like blondy type taupe brows, and I just don't have those kind of brows, but what she does do is brush them up really, really well. So I'm going to try my best to kind of just brush my hairs up. And like draw hair lines. I'm not going to fill out too much actually. 
with a darker blue. I'm just going to try to swing up some of that color onto the very outer crease. And it's not going to show up as pigmented as I want it to be because I didn't have that white primer on top. But just a little bit is enough. Oh, my eye is tearing up. My left eye always tears up so bad. It's like, I hate this eye. This is the stuff that I love what she does. She will add glitter. So I'm going to add some of this glitter. This is Disco Ball by NYX. And then I'm going to add um, Mayan Gold by NYX. So I'm going to mix them both together. I'm using the NYX glitter glue. I just put it, she kind of does like a teardrop shape. Honestly, I think that she's like one of the people who like made this look before everybody else started taking it. my face I'm using the dark color here just kind of creating some structure and I'm going to add some of my forehead just to kind of shape it a little bit more highlight I'm using an extra shiny one this is actually a pigment that I bought from a mall um, it doesn't have a name on it it's just a high I, I just don't know but anyways it's like a shiny powder like, oh I should have used this for the Mac Daddy one this reminds me of like of what the artist couture powders look like they're just very sparkly and shimmery and very like almost glittery too I'm adding that on there just to make it look nice and wet and dewy. Okay, I will be back. I'm going to fix my hair and I'll finish the face. And Julie does awesome stuff with her lips. Like, she'll put glitter on it. She'll put, um, like, different ombre stuff, like, she always, like, or she'll do, like, even, like, a glitter brow, like, some of the stuff that she does, I'm just like, wow, how did you think of that? Um, she even puts, like, sequin pieces all up in her eyes and stuff, which is so cool, um, but another thing that I like that she does is she uses a lot of dark lips, so I'm gonna use this one. This one is from Milani. It's their lip cream, and it is called Covet. Oh, these smell so good. I always forget. I don't think my cheeks are as shiny as I want them to be, so I'm actually going to use some, ooh, what is this called? Strobe cream. Dab it on there. And then put it right on top. Just to make it extra. Just for one last touch, I'm just using some clear gloss from MAC. She will take some gloss and put it on the lid. Like this girl goes all out with the textures and stuff and she just makes like, you know, a really boring matte eye look very interesting and unexpected. This feels very Julie Wick. I love it. I am so glad I tried this out. This is definitely something where I might try. Who knows? Um, but I'm totally open to it. I'm so glad that I tried it out because now I know like I have so much more respect for how she applies this stuff because the textures they don't feel completely comfortable <laughs> um but she wears it like a g so i just oh i'm so happy i tried this hopefully you guys also loved it and um if not the whole look bits and pieces that you think that you might be able to try yourself i will see you guys later bye